Hi, this is just a quick video to help you out with Lab 8, Finance in Excel. I also provided some hints for you on Blackboard, so you can use that, and I'm going to use this as a guide as we're going through. So, the first thing, the first part, we're looking at Mario, and I've already filled out here that I just put in APR equals, this is nothing special, okay? This is just so I know uh, what I'm putting over to the right, okay? Just the labeling. So first it says, and I'm going to change the numbers around a little bit, so I'll give you the exact answers. Uh, it says, Mario ha has a money market savings account with an APR of, I'm going to go ahead and use 3.75%. Do just put percent in there, and it knows what you, and Excel knows what you're talking about. If Mario deposits, I'm going to say two thousand dollars. So that's our principal. So we put that down next to P, and doesn't touch the account. How much will he have in three years? I'm going to change it to five years. Again, you know, when you do this, you're going to use what it says, but. I'm changing around for, for um, the example. Now we're still compounding monthly, so 12 times per year, and he's not making any payment into the account each month, so that's the zero for now. Okay, so we want to find out what the future value is. To tell Excel to do a formula and calculate it, you press equals. And we're doing the future value, and we've got our formula over here on our sheet, and I think it was um, on the original sheet, it was up on the first page. So all we need to do is this, FV, parenthesis, and then it says the APR, and I know there's some stuff here, but if you'll use the one over on your paper, it'll um, be easier to understand. So the APR divided by N, it says. Let's blow this up a little bit. There we go. So the APR was our 3.75%. Press the divide or forward slash button on your computer. And divided by N. So I'm just clicking on the cell that contains our value for N. And notice it brings up C2. Then we press comma, and it says n times, that's what the asterisk's for, n times y. So we've got select on n again, press the times. If you press shift and 8 on your computer, that'll give you the times asterisk. And then the cell next to y. Then it says comma negative. The payment, which is zero for now, but we're still going to put it in there. And then comma negative our principal. So I selected on that cell. Close parentheses, hit enter, and it'll give you an answer. Now if your answer is really, really small or really, really big, then you've done something wrong. But this makes sense that within three or within five years, $2,000 would grow to about $2,400. So that, that makes sense. Okay. Moving forward to number two. This time it says Mario deposits, we're using $2,000, and doesn't touch the account. How many years must he leave the money in the account to reach a future value of, and I'm going to say $3,000. Okay, so this time we're going to use something called Goal Seek. And what it's going to do is if we put 3,000 here, then it's going to tell us how many years it would take for this money to this $2,000 to grow to 3,000. So this is a very useful tool. But what we do to find Goal Seek is we go to Tools up at the very top down to goal seek and we're setting the cell this one c6 
and we're going to change that. We want it to change to a value of $3,000. Again, we're trying to reach $3,000 by changing the year sale. So we select in that spot and go over and select the sale for years. And when we press OK, it says OK, and we say yes. And it'll tell you. So it'll take over 10 years for $2,000 to grow to $3,000 at an APR of 3.75%. So very useful to be able to do that. Numbers 3 and 4 are very similar. Okay, uh, They're just asking you to change different sales. So read the directions very carefully. Make sure you put in the numbers that it asks for and you do the same thing here let's let's go ahead and do number three we'll do one more so it says if mario deposits two thousand dollars for us right now into a different account and doesn't touch that account what rate of interest would be compounded monthly compounded monthly would be needed for the account to reach a balance of in my case three thousand in just five years so I've got to go back and change the years to five and I've deposited 2000 and we're looking for the rate of interest so it doesn't matter what we put in there I'm gonna make sure everything else is right so again we go to tools goal seek we're seeking to change this sale the future value to three thousand dollars by changing the cell with the APR in it. Okay, okay, and you could see the rate would need to be over 8%. Okay, so you're going to do number four. Just make sure you change everything back to what you need to. So Mario deposited 2000 with an interest rate of, we got to change, 3.9%. After six years, so I got to change that. This account had a balance of, and of course that's not going to work for me because I'm using two thousand. What was the interest compounded? Okay, so use the amount that it gives you here to put into your two value. Part two, changing it up a little bit. It says Mario has a money market savings account with an APR of 3.75%. Oh, once you put the percent in there, it holds it, so you don't have to press it again. I keep doing that by mistake. Compounded monthly, so still 12. If Mario makes deposits, this time he's making a deposit of $100 per month. So his payment is $100. How much will be in the account in five years? He did not put any into the account to begin with. So we're taking that out. And I'm taking out the future value formula because it's going to change a little bit. So in our initial payment, our initial principal is just zero. Okay. So I need to change this up a little bit. I'm going to say he makes payment of payments of $200 a month at 4%. Okay. So the future value in this case, oh, I put a parentheses where I didn't need it. Okay, so we've got our APR divided by n, the number of times compounding, comma, n times the year, comma, negative our payment, comma, negative the principal amount. Close your parentheses. So same deal. And it says that he's going to end up with over $13,000, which is 
awesome. And that makes sense because you've got five years at $200 a month. That's going to be 12000 just multiplying. Um, so with the APR to be 13 that makes sense. So back to our goal seek thing for number two. It says if Mario starts mark making deposits of $100 per month, how long will it take him to accumulate $6,000? For his dream vacation okay so I'm making payments of $200 and I'm still using my same APR of 4 but you're going to use the 3.75 and with a payment of 200 and we go to goal seek and we are changing this value the future value to 6,000 by changing sale, how long? That's the year. Okay, so if he's depositing $200 a month, it's not going to take him very long. Now, part number three says Mario received a bonus. $1,200 bonus for working extremely hard. If he opens up this money market account with his bonus and then deposits, in our case, $200 each month, what will the future value be in 10 years? So same type deal. I'm going to use my same APR. It says 10 years. This time our initial rate, our initial um, amount was $1,200, and I'm putting in $200 a month. So in 10 years, he's going to have over $31,000. That's pretty good. Okay, and then number four is using that future value again. So I uh, hope this helps you as you go through lab eight. Email me if you have any further questions.